Hello, welcome sports fans. This is TH Sports Talk. I am TH Sports writer Steve Ortman, along with fellow sports writer Tim O'Neill. We're getting all set for the first full weekend of football here. We're in the middle of September. All levels of football are off and running. We've got some dandies this weekend. Wives are wondering where their husbands are. They're likely in the den, watching football where they should be on Sunday, checking their fantasy stats and all that stuff. But we have got some terrific games all weekend. Starts at the prep level. Uh, a rivalry renewed here coming up on Friday night as East Dubuque travels to play Galena. These two teams have not met in the regular season since 2010. I know you and I both have, have covered these games before. Talk a little bit about that rivalry and how kind of exciting it is to have it back in the regular season. Well, I think I actually would have covered that last regular season game back then. Um, that game is always exciting. Um, mm -hmm. I remember there are fans all around the fence, around the field, um, every time they play, whether it's the regular season or the playoffs. Um, and this rivalry, it's a lot like the other big rivalries we have. It's like a city rivalry. It's like a Western Dubuque Beckman, a Beckman Cascade. Um, you know, there's a lot of mutual res respect between these players, but they don't like each other once they get on the football field. So um, that makes it a really exciting game. Yeah, and uh, they have not been away from each other these last five years. Uh, 2012 and 2013, they played in the playoffs. Galena won both those matchups. We got on a younger team with East Dubuque this year. Galena has one of the best running backs in the state, and Bruce Sharp. What do you think East Dubuque's going to have to do to kind of stay in this ball game? Well, you mentioned Bruce Sharp. Number one is going to stop Bruce. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's a quality, quality running back. Rushed for I can't even remember how many yards, but a lot of yards last year. Um, and they got their quarterback too, so they've got some talent at the skill positions for Galena. Um, East Dubuque's going to have to focus on those and and find a way to move the ball and, and get it into the end zone. Sure. Then moving up to the college level. Uh, what else do you talk about in the state of Iowa? We got Iowa, Iowa State uh, down in Ames on Saturday. Um, interesting matchup. Cyclones have certainly uh, off to a better start than they have been in recent years. A nice win over you and I. Iowa got a nice win. Uh, what are you looking for between these two teams? Boy, um, another good one. Um, I don't think we're going to see the triple overtime game like we saw a few years ago. Um, but it's hate week in Iowa. Um, a little bit of that was taken away this week with the Tyler Sash death. Mm -hmm. um, Iowa State players were tweeting out their condolences, saying how much they respected it, and we're going to miss Tyler Sash. Um, so there's maybe not quite that level of hate there between the players, mm -hmm. but for the fans, it's definitely there, um, and it should be a really good one, although I do expect Iowa to win. <laughs> sure, and uh, speaking of uh, passionate fans anyways, if you look at uh, NFL matchup week one, how about this to start things off for the uh, Tri-State fans here in the area, you've got uh, the Bears and the Packers meeting up here in week one. Uh, Packers looking like a Super Bowl contender. Bears, hard hard to say. What do you think Chicago's going to have to do to stay in this game? Pray. Pray? <laughs> um, yeah, I, Aaron Rodgers um, is as good as they come. Jay Cutler, he's had flashes, but I don't. I don't see him outscoring Aaron Rodgers in one of those shootout games. For the Bears, if they're going to win, it's going to be on the defense. They're going to have to shut him down, limit those passing lanes, put pressure on Rodgers. Um, and Cutler is going to have to play like Aaron Rodgers for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Should be uh, a heck of a weekend. Get your popcorn ready, fans. It's going to be a great weekend of football. Uh, this is Tim O'Neill. I'm Steve Ortman. Thanks for joining us for TH Sports Talk. And uh, for more sports coverage of all your tri-state area sports, visit THOnline.com.